One of the best things about trade bike shows like Interbike are some of the quirky and different products that you see on display. And that's what this video is going to be all about, the best ones that we've seen. The Coast Cycles Ruckus certainly stands out from the crowd. It's designed with ferrying people around in mind, so you can put st stump pegs here on the back so that people can sit further back on this lengthy saddle. Uh, I'd like to ride it on my own down Santa Cruz Beach. I think that would suit me rather well. After my experience on the back of a fat bike tandem with the Don from GMBN on day one of Interbike, you're not going to catch me riding one of these again anytime soon. I was absolutely petrified. Uh, however, if you are into that sort of thing, then this is a lovely looking tandem from Calfee. And one of the benefits of this bike is that even though there are two of you on it, you're not really going to get dehydrated. One, two, three, four, five bottle cages. Lake are here with some fairly interesting shoes on display. We've got this one that looks almost like a vintage football boot, stroke ice skate. And they've also got a snow boot with a burr enclosure and place for your mountain bike cleats underneath. I'm guessing that's aimed at the fat bike market when people go and play in the snow. A bottle cage for a whiskey hip flask. This is the Jobo drifting trike and it's possibly the coolest thing that has ever been invented in the world ever. This is the future. This is the Morpher helmet, which has won a few design awards recently. British design that smashed its Indiegogo funding target too. Uh, it's called the Morpher because it is the only helmet in the world which folds completely flat, taking up far less room in your bag when you're traveling. And it has passed the certificates to be met for safety standards around the world, except for in Australia. You certainly will get noticed if you ride this around on the open roads. This is a Ukrainian company called Garbaruk who are here with this inversion bike, which as you can plainly see, has dismissed the seat tube and the seat stays. Apparently it gives a very comfortable ride as well because there's a fair bit of give in the carbon here at the front. If you want to give some love to motorists or other cyclists coming past you, or those that you pass, why not get one of these from Bike Guy, which is a light shaped as a heart. Meld is a brand new saddle company with a difference because they, as far as they know, are the only saddle company in the world to do custom fitted saddles. And they do this by sending a mould out to your house, which looks like this. They're not the imprint of my buttocks, by the way. Uh, but you then sit on it and send it back to them in California, at which point they can put it into a 3D scanner to start shaping it for you. Uh, you then get lots of options of customization, so the way it looks in terms of the colour, whether you want your name on it, whether you want a cutout down the middle, etc. And you also inform them how much you generally move on the bike when you're out riding. So maybe if you're time trialist, you do shuffle forward quite a bit. If you're more of a climber, you might go further backwards, and they can shape that saddle accordingly. You'll then be able to see a virtual model of your saddle online line at their website and if you're happy with the way it looks they'll then make it for you within a week at which point they will ship it out. Oh and they're very light too, this one up here, 120 grams. And finally we have come to Air Relax who've got their recovery system here. Exactly what I need after a very long and stressful day walking around Interbike. You might have seen pro riders though genuinely use these after stages of things like the Tour de France to aid their recovery and I must admit they do what they say on the tin, I am feeling quite relaxed now. Anyway, if you'd like some more content from here at Interbike, up the top there you can find some gravel bikes that we found at the Outdoor Expo. And we found some electronic gadgets as well a couple of days ago, which you can find in the bottom corner there. And if you have yet to subscribe to GCN, all you need to do is click on that globe.